Hey guys, what's going on? I am back for another Razer Chroma keyboard lighting design for you guys. This design was created thanks to a comment left by Gabrant. He said, can you please make a Loki themed one? So I decided to take a stab at this one and I think you guys are gonna like it a lot. This design is going to have a really cool wave pattern that kind of spells out the word Loki along with a really nice audio meter effect also spelling out the name Loki, and it's gonna to be topped off with a reactive effect at the end that makes this design look really, really clean. As always, you will be able to download this design and have them on your Razer Chroma devices. A download link will be available in the description below for that. If you wanna learn how I created it, stay tuned. This is how you make the Loki themed Razer Chroma profile. All right guys, we are in the Razer Synapse software and we are in the studio tab and we are going to be showing you how to make the Loki Razer Chroma profile. So we're gonna start off by creating a brand new profile, pressing these three dots and clicking the add button. Once our brand new profile is created, what we're going to do is we're going to hold control and we're just going to scroll out and zoom in on our keyboard specifically. And we're gonna start with that. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our base static color. And we're going to click these three dots right here. And we're going to change this to a static. Double click to select all of your lighting zones. And we're going to change this to a dark green color here. I'm even gonna drag it a little bit darker than this green. And I'm gonna use 003600. I'm gonna click this plus symbol to add this color green to my color palette. Once we've done that, that's all we're gonna do for this layer, and we're gonna add a wheel effect. Click on the wheel effect to add that new layer. With this new wheel effect layer selected, we're going to select all of our lighting zones on our keyboard. We're gonna click on this color dropdown, and we're gonna choose this five node pattern right here that's got the black, yellow, and the green. Delete this first node, select this first node, hit the delete the trash can, select this yellow node, hit the trash can once again. With this third node, we're gonna click on that and we're gonna make it invisible. And with this last node, we're gonna do the same thing, make it invisible. Now we're gonna click off of our color into this gray area here, and we're gonna leave everything the same except we're gonna grab this center point, just click on that, and then click right on the middle of your keyboard. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our wheel effect that we just made. And we're going to click duplicate layer. Now with this new wheel effect layer that was created, we're going to click on that. We're going to double click on the affected keys. So all of the keys on your keyboard. And we're going to just reverse the direction. So you kind of have like this lighthouse pattern type lighting. Also with this profile, I forgot on your wheel effects, click on your first wheel effect that you made, select your top row of lighting, and we're going to change this from green to a goldish color. The color that I'm using is FFAC0A. Same thing with our other wheel effect layer. Click on that other wheel effect layer that you made, select this top row, Click on your color drop down, change the green node to that gold color. All right, once these three layers are built, we're going to start moving on to actually spelling out the letters of the word Loki. So we're going to create a wave layer. With this wave layer, we're going to hold control and we're going to select out these five keys. And this kind of makes out the shape of the L in Loki. We're gonna leave our speed at 15, but we're gonna increase our width to 400. And we're gonna angle our pattern down at 180. So speed 15, width at 400, angle down at 180. Everything else remains the same. Click on our color drop down, and we're gonna go with this five node pattern once again. With this five node pattern, it basically divides up your gradient pattern in four equal parts so you got this first section right here second third and fourth and we're going to use that to create our four letter word so first thing we're going to do is on this very far node to the right here we're going to make that invisible we're going to click on this next node right here and we're going to make that white we're going to hit the addition symbol to add another white node there and we're going to drag this new node all the way over to the first invisible one we made click on this middle black node here 
and we're going to make that invisible and then drag that tight to the last white node we made there. Click on the yellow node and hit the trash can. Click on this first node and hit the trash can. So now we have one quarter of our gradient bar as a white color. So once you have that white done, we're going to just select any of these keys. Actually, I'm going to double click and select all the keys that are highlighted white. I'm going to control C to copy that. I'm going to deselect off of them. I'm going to hold control and I'm just going to select all of the keys that surround this white light that we built here. We're going to hit control, hold control and press V to paste that white light. And we're going to click on our color drop down and we're going to change this white color on these nodes only for the stuff that surrounds our letter with black. So the hex code I'm using for this is going to be 000001. We're going to delete this other white node that's in here. Click on this black node that we made, hit the plus sign and drag that over. And before I add a new layer, I'm going to double click on this wave layer we made. And I'm just going to rename this layer to the letter L. Right click on your L layer and hit duplicate. Double click on this new L layer and we're going to rename that to O. With this new O layer, we are going to copy one of these white keys. So you can copy any of these white keys. Just select it and hit control C. Make sure you deselect that. We're going to hold control and we're going to make out the shape of our letter O. I'm going to hold control and press V to paste in that white. I'm going to click on my color drop down. I'm going to choose this five node pattern again. Now with this first node here, I'm going to make it invisible and I'm going to pull it tight to that node right there. This green node, I'm going to make white. This second node, this yellow node here, I'm going to make invisible. I'm just going to drag that tight to this black node. This black node in the middle, I'm going to make white. And then I'm going to take this node right here and just trash it. With this O selected, you can press Control C to copy that and deselect off of that letter. And while holding Control once again, select all of the lighting zones that go around that letter O. Hold Control and press V. If you get a question mark here, hold Control and press V again. If you get no pattern here, once again, just hit Control. V. So now you should have that white pattern in there. With these keys still selected, click on your color drop down and we're going to change these white nodes to black. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Same thing with this node. You can change the hex code or you can delete it. Copy this one by hitting the plus sign and drag that over. That looks good. I'm going to hit save. So now, as you can see on my keyboard, it starts to spell out the letters L-O for the start of Loki. Before we make our next layer, make sure on this O layer that you remove all of the lighting zones that are not involved with this O, okay? Right click on the O layer and hit duplicate. With this new O layer that was created, we're going to double click on that. We're going to Rename that to K. We're going to click on our O, double click on any of the affected keys that create the O. Hold Control and press C to copy that. And now we're going to make out the shape of our letter K. So we're going to select the N key, the J key, the U key, the 7 key, I, 9, K, and the comma. Hold Control and press V to paste it. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my color drop down and I'm going to choose this five node pattern right here. Once again, with this black node in the middle, we're going to make that white. Drag this green node over tight to the white node and make it invisible. Click on this outside node here and trash it. Change this yellow node to white. This black node, we're going to drag that tight to the white node and make it invisible. So. Here's the third portion of our gradient bar that is now white. We're going to click off of that. With these other affected keys that create the O here, I'm just going to double click and hit the delete key. Double click and hit the delete key because we're not working on O on this layer. Double click on the affected keys that create your K. Hold control and press C to copy that. 
Let go of control and just click off into the gray area to deselect it. Once again, hold control and select all of the keys that outline your letter K. Just like that, hold control and press V to paste in that white. Click on your color drop down with these keys selected and change this white to black. Make sure you change both of those nodes to black and hit save. So now to finish out his name, we're gonna right click on the K layer and duplicate that. This new K layer, we're gonna change to the letter I. We're gonna copy the effect that's on the shape of the K. Go ahead and control C to copy that. And then select out the shape of the I. Once that's pasted on there, click on your color drop down. Choose this five node pattern once again. This first node here we're gonna have invisible. We're then gonna press this plus sign and we're going to drag that tight to the invisible node we made and we're gonna make that white. We're gonna take this black node and drag that tight to the yellow one and we're gonna make that invisible. This yellow node, we're gonna make white. The green node and the black node, we're just gonna trash. That looks good right there. I'm gonna hold control and press C to copy the effect that we have on that eye. Next, what I'm gonna do is just double click on these affected keys that create the K, and I'm gonna delete those out. So now we only have the effect that's on our eye shape. Double click on those, control C to copy that, and now deselect off of those, and we're gonna hold control and select around the shape of our letter I. Hold control and press V to paste in the white. Click on our color drop down, change the white nodes to black, and we're gonna hit save. So that completes the creation of the Loki name on the keyboard. Next, we're gonna move on to the audio meter for this profile. So we're gonna select our audio meter effect layer here to add that to the top of our list. With this new audio meter selected, hold control, and we're going to select out the shape of our Loki letters. With those selected, we're gonna turn our decay down to 0.1. Also check this auto box right here, okay? Click on our color drop down, and we're gonna choose this two node pattern right here. So it's just the black and green gradient. We're gonna take this black node and we're gonna drag it all the way up here towards the top of our gradient bar. With this black node selected, we're gonna drag this a little bit up and we're gonna take this green node and drag that close to the gray one. And with this green node selected, we're gonna make that white. So you got a gray bar with white. And what this is doing is it's telling that, it's telling all of these keys that are, uh, that are selected to stay gray until the audio is at one of its highest points and then they'll turn white. So we're gonna make a meter effect with this. And from here, it's very easy. With all of these keys selected, we're gonna hold control. We're gonna deselect this top row right here. So all of the lighting zones that are in this row. We're gonna click on our color drop down, and we're gonna drag these two nodes over just a little bit, just like that. Hold control, deselect this next row down, grab the color drop down, and keep dragging them over just a little bit. Hold control, deselect the next row, and we're gonna drag it over one last time. Right there, that's all we're gonna do, and we're gonna hit save. Now I'm gonna play a little bit of music to show you guys what it looks like. All right, so it looks really, really good. The last thing that we're going to be doing for the keyboard portion of this is we're going to be adding a reactive layer. So click on that reactive to add that new layer. We're gonna, with this layer selected, we're going to select all of the keys on our keyboard. We're gonna click that color drop down, and we're gonna choose this gold pattern that we used. And now we're gonna hit save. So this is it for the keyboard portion of the design. You now have a gold reactive layer on your keyboard and a really nice audio meter to go along with your Loki keyboard lighting design. For the peripherals on this design, I just applied the green static, the dark green static effect on all of my devices. 
And now I'm gonna actually add a starlight effect. Add that starlight. And I'm gonna select all of my lighting zones on all of my additional razor devices. And I'm gonna click on the color dropdown. I'm gonna choose a single color pattern and I'm gonna choose this gold once again. The density I'm going to increase to 10 and I'm going to hit save. And that is all you have to do to create this Loki design on your guys' Razer keyboards. Please stay tuned to watch the preview of what this looks like on my desk setup. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe and bell icon if you haven't already. That way you guys don't miss out on future Razer keyboard lighting designs. Also, if you're new to the channel, go to my website, unrealhero.com and check out all of the profiles that I've created in the past. I guarantee there's gonna be something in there that you like. Thank you guys so much and I hope to see you guys in the next video.